You know, you know when you fall in love with somebody, right? right. And, and all the habits that once annoyed you and start to become cute and adorable and make you love that person even more. Yeah, well, I don't. <laughs> the annoying shit she does is just annoying. It's not cute. I don't know what line I was supposed to be in when they were handing that out, but I don't have that kind of love. Me, I have that. I can't stand when you leave the tops off of every container you open, but always a kiss good night. And, 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 and that, and that I, I can't stand that you don't seem to understand that if you never take the bags of plastic bottles to recycling, then our house becomes the landfill. Now hand me the oil for your foot massage. And the worst, the worst, is, is, when I'm, is when I'm headed out for a run, right? And I discover my iPod is dead, and the only one that's charged is hers, because hers has only one long playlist filled to capacity with R&B slow jams. What the hell? I can't work out for that. Who jogs to Jodeci? I can't, I can't work. And even, even the few selections that are R&B are still irresponsibly ordered. She won't have Yolanda Adams, The Whisper Song, Luther, and Uncle Lou back to back. Who does that? Who does that? That is not respectable song selection. You can't just be juxtaposing genres all willy-nilly. People get killed on the street for less than that. Like that time when I was playing a music theme board game and then the opponent drew a card that asked me, if you were running a marathon and could only choose one song to listen to for the entire run, what would you choose? And I'll be across the table and pistol with that fool. And I'll be making me answer questions like that. What's wrong with you? A playlist is nothing to play with. And the final model of my marathon is no place for Fantasia. So please, understand the fact that I ran five miles pumped up on R&B slow jams is all the proof that I need that she is the one for me. She has got me running to R&B. And that has lasting effects on someone like me because I have Mockingbird in my bloodline and Parrot in my DNA. I can't pass someone singing a song and not start singing it myself all day and blame it on the app. Uh, 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 alcohol is the last song I want serenade my marathon through life with. And it's not, it's not, it's not that I'm prejudiced against r and anything. I mean, some of my best friends are black street, right? It's just, it's just I, I heard it explained perfectly one time. r and is just too damn obvious. Charlie, what you think? Let me buy you a drink. I got money in the bank. We in the bed like, ooh, 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 ooh. We in the bed like, ooh, 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 ooh. We in the bed like, you know what, I'm a poet. So, so my default is to deprose and deconstruct and desimplify you know, everything, <laughs> right? So I have always sought the, the unconventional song structure, the unorthodox lyrics, but I don't know, like, these days she's, she's kind of kind of appreciating how simple a love song can be. Sometimes, Sometimes you don't, you don't want to have multi-layered melodies and, and, and labyrinth lyrics. Sometimes you don't want to be neo-soul smooth or hip-hop hard. Sometimes you just want to rip your shirt off in the middle of the show, drop down to your knees and say, My mind is telling me no. No, baby, no, baby, no, baby, no. And you finish it with a perfectly timed, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. And, and I, I gotta admit, I, I'm not, I'm not mad at a conventional song structure, you know, with a high note that I can count on coming, because, because I've been in this race so long that for a while, hell, I lost sight of why I was even running. I mean, I know I started off chasing love, right? We all do. Somewhere along the course. Love and I had a falling out, you know, got in a vicious street fight over a girl, of course. And um, well, I got my ass kicked. But it's just because I made the mistake of thinking that we were fighting fair. Right? But love, love fights dirty, dude. Right? Love right? fights grimy, right? Call me when I wasn't looking, peeled back, and knocked my sweet tooth clean out. And yet, as it turns out, that particular
particular sweet tooth had a terrible cavity that would have infected my entire amorous system and eventually led to heart disease. So, so I guess God knew what he was doing. When I called out to him in pain and asked what to do about this lost tooth, and he said, sleep on it. And I woke up the next morning to find this shiny new dime under my pillow. So y'all might have to pardon me if I believe in fairies and write fairy tales, but I'm trying to put some happily back in my back in my ever after. Ever since love walked away saying, don't hold your breath. Shit, I've been filling my lungs with a broken exhale stash, waiting for some five foot seven hazel eye gasp to come strolling into my life and take my breath away. If love hurts, I'll take her deep tissue version any day. She's got me running to R and B. And, and, and now I just want to take my shirt off on stage for her. But I, I don't really have an R&B body yet. <laughs> well, I, got, I got more of a, of a classical cellist body. Not the cellist are right? sexy. You just never see them with their shirt off, right? And I want to give her all my money. And I'm a romantic, so I realize that this is not the first time that I've said that to a woman. But it's the first time I've had money, so it means more now. <laughs> And I want to take a day trip up to heaven and give God a pound and tell him I am grateful that she finds me funny because her laugh, it is my favorite thing. And her smile is my masterpiece. I, I got to admit something, y'all. When we kiss, I peek. I do. I peek. I peek. You know, just to see her lips crescent as mine pull away. I asked her why she smiled so when we kissed one day and she looked at me quizzically and said, because you make me happy. Because you make me happy. Because you make me happy. How wonderfully simple this R&B of hers is. No, no belabored messages, no Byzantine melodies, just a beautiful, just a beautiful metaphor and simple, accessible lyrics that say happy. And, that, and that's new for me. You know, but new is the new use too for me because I love now different than I used to. You see, I used to want to run through the airport after her, catch her at the gate in the nick of time and drop to my knees screaming, Don't leave me, girl! <laughs> now, I want to run through the airport with her, catch our flight in the nick of time and let her take me away. I used to want to serenade her outside her window with a boom box until the neighbors Call, shouted from their windows and the cops were called. Now, I just want to churn out slow jams with her inside her apartment until the neighbors bang on their walls and the fire department is called and we catch an arson charge from harnessing our heat by laying kindling for these combustible bed sheets so that each time we sweat kerosene from dilated pores, we send each other to the core and then collapse on the sheets that still spasm watching our phoenix rise towards the dangling wires of the smoke that from which we were wise enough to remove the batteries. <laughs> See, sometimes, sometimes there are no alarms that go off to signify the arrival of the one. No, no angels that sing, nor trumpets that blare. Sometimes, well, I guess that's because sometimes the one ain't really the one. <laughs> You know, I have called someone the one before and been wrong twice before. So to be accurate, she is the three. And three is the magic number. She is my rule of three and my three squares a day. She's the charm in my third time who stole my heart like third base. The three apples of my third eye has got me looking past love at first sight. Cause now I want love at last sight. Love at last kiss. Love at 112 fight. Love at dying wish on that 30,000th night on that 26 mile that I'm certain I'll reach because she has got me running to R&B. And she's got me falling asleep with her further. Every she got me falling in love with her each time I watch her sleep. And not just because she's lying there all peaceful and, and quiet, so beautifully quiet. Not asking me incessant question after insignificant question about some TV show I'm clearly trying to watch that she's only halfway paying attention to and she window shops online for shoes or anything like that. <laughs> but because my vision of our future is not nearsighted. So when I close my eyes and I open my face, 
I see me treating her to turkey burgers at a cafe with my senior citizen discount card. I see young newlyweds watching me watch her as we kiss and wishing for what we have in 50 years. I see us electric sliding at our grandchild's wedding to Yolanda Adams with Whisper Song, Luca, and Uncle Luke back to back for DJ Play Me a Slow Jam. Her pulse on the lyrics to my favorite song. I know her by heart. And y'all can feel free to sing along because you probably know her too. Like, like, you, know, like you know, soft breezes. You know, in quiet spaces, you know her. If you know, if you know, towels warm from the dryer against wet skin, and dreams worth forcing yourself back to sleep for, and you know her. If you have ever licked the sugar from the rim of a strawberry daiquiri, or, or danced with abandon for no reason, with no music, or found your way through darkness to a destination you didn't even know you had, then you most certainly know her, my nightlight. My tech support, my second helping of dessert. Less, less red bone and more red velvet. More red velvet cupcake. More red gluten-free vegan red velvet cupcake that tastes better than the regular version. She is my healthy comfort food. I, I the agave sweetened chaser to my hard pills to swallow. I drink of her like pineapple juice, and she brings out my sweetness. And, and, and I, I, I clearly am in this for the long haul because her thighs alone are a lifetime commitment. Her curves are a full-time project, and I am powerless against her butterfly effect. There is a spot somewhere on the back of her neck that when kissed will make a monarch flutter in her stomach, which makes a volcano erupt in China, which alters the course of our future forever. And my lips spent last Saturday mining the small of her back, searching out that spot for hours, engaging her core like crunches, leaving her sore like lunges, reading the braille of her skin's nonfiction. She is a page turner, and, and I have tonight torn her from my page, placed her on my tongue, and brought her to my stage, for she is not just poetry. Now she is spoken word. She is meant to be performed. More than muse, she is my ghostwriter, y'all. I mean, I know I take, I take the credit, but she writes all my best parts. I'm just enjoying the crescendo. She is the pitch change at the end of the song. The curtains pull back to reveal the full gospel choir. The bridge that climaxes into that high note I can always count on coming. She is the irrefutable evidence of God's presence. The five foot seven hazel eye proof that heaven is not always something to go to. Sometimes it comes to us. And I know this because on March 2nd 1970, don't worry about it. God got the most incredible song stuck in his head. And two years ago, I woke up from the dead, heard God passing by me singing a high note, and I have been singing her ever since. So, if there is only one song in this marathon that I get to use, then it is no longer possible for me to be confused. For she is the high note I am singing on cue. She is my fantasy and she is my truth. She is my soul music and my soul food. She is my, my, my new age and my old school. She is my rhythm and she is my blues. She is my uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. And she is just too damn obvious. So my, fin my finish line is finally clear. She is the red dot on the map of my destiny that says stop running, baby. You are here. Yeah.